Hello and welcome to this My Theme Shop video screencast. Over the next couple of minutes, I'm going to be showing you how to set up the WP Contact Widget plugin, which is a plugin which allows you to add a contact form as a widget anywhere on your site where you can add a widget. So the first thing to do is to head over to the My Theme Shop member area at mythemeshop.com slash go slash member. And then scroll down on your active premium resources until you find your premium plugins at the bottom there and you want to download WP Contact widgets. So open that out there and click download plugin files. So I'm just gonna save mine to my desktop. And then you want to head over to your WordPress dashboard and uh, go to plugins and then add new and then upload plugin. And then you want to choose the file you've just downloaded. So click choose file and then WP contact widget dot zip and then click install now and WordPress is going to upload and install the plugin and you just need now to activate it and you now have the WP contact widget plugin activated. So in order to use the plugin we want to head over to appearance and then widgets and here we have um, all of the widgets available in WordPress and if you scroll down to the bottom you're going to see you have the WP contact widget is a new widget that you've got available to you so I'm just going to drop that onto my sidebar here and you'll see that we have various options here um, so we have a widget title um, which is set to contact us you can also ask for a name by just ticking that box um, an email a uh, subject and uh, phone and the message field. So all of those um, you can choose the labels as well as enabling the field. So we might put that to your name for example or your email and so on. You can just change those by ticking those boxes and changing those values. Um, you can also add custom text field. Um, for example uh, we might have one for feedback and just need to click that there and see how it's going to add. You can also drag and drop to rearrange these. So for example, you might want to put your phone number first or your message last below your feedback, for example. You can just drag and drop those in order to move the location of those around. You can change the deliver to mail address here, the send message button text, the success message, and also you can uh, tick this box to give an option to subscribe people to your newsletter once they have contacted you. You can choose between GetResponse, MailChimp, and Aweber. So for example, if I was using MailChimp, then I would need my MailChimp API key. In order to find that, I just need to log into my MailChimp. Once you're logged in, you want to go to your account here and then click on the drop-down account. And then you want to go to Extras and then API Keys. And then scroll down to your API Keys and uh, create a new key. And then you want to just copy that there and then hop back to your WordPress dashboard and you can paste it in there. You can then see that the uh, plugin has automatically got my MailChimp list ID and I can just select that from the drop down if I have multiple ones to choose from. It's a similar process for different newsletter services. So if you have GetResponse you need an API key and then just choose your campaign and with Aweber you just need to get an authorization code, paste that in and then choose your list ID. So I'll just leave that with my MailChimp. You also have the option to add text before the form, um, which you can just add in this text box. And you can have the text after the form as well. Also add the option to add any custom CSS you want, and you can just add that in there, and that'll be added to the form. You can also enable a uh, capture to stop you getting spams through your contact form. To do that, you need to generate an API key, which you can do by clicking on that link. And you just need to fill out this form. So add in my theme shop. So just add in your domain there and your email. Then that's going to create a site key and a secret key. And you just want to copy these across to the widget 
so that's our site key and our secret key. And you can also choose between a light and dark color scheme just using these buttons here. I'll keep mine on the light to fit in with the rest of my site. So if I now just visit a page on my website, and if we just go to a post which has a sidebar on it, you're gonna see that we have the contact form at the top of the sidebar in that widget area we created. And you'll see we have the different fields here, including the ones we added, option to subscribe to our newsletter, and a recapture form to stop us getting spam. And you can use that widget on anywhere that you've got uh, widget areas. So for example, we could have that on the homepage, and it's just a case of dragging, dropping, and moving that widget around in order to have it exactly where you want it. And that's really all there is to it. You just need to drop that widget in where you want it, select the different options, add the custom CSS you want, and uh, set up your external services, such as MailChimp, Aweber, or GetResponse, or add a capture form. And then you just need to drop that widget where you want it to go. And you can move it around once you've added it. Any queries, then please don't hesitate to get in contact with one of our support team at community.mythemeshop.com. And thank you very much for watching.